And leaders here in the city of Cleveland are working on a big decision. How will they spend another round of funding totaling $255 million from the American Rescue Plan? Now that money is set to be handed down from the feds just next month. Every one of Cleveland's 17 city council members are each submitting a plan. So is Mayor Justin Bibb and his administration. They're hoping to agree on one plan by the end of the year to meet the federal deadline on how those funds are meant to be spent. News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis joins us live in the newsroom with how the community and organizations are getting involved in this crucial decision. Joe? Courtney, Rob, community meetings have been held and petitions have been distributed citywide, taking public opinion for months on how to spend this $255 million in American Rescue Plan funds. And now Policy Matters Ohio releasing a series of reports containing a menu of options on how to best use these all important dollars. This decision is so huge for the city of Cleveland. Dolores Gray is a Cleveland grandmother who believes a significant amount of Cleveland's federal rescue funds need to be used to help children. Even with the rec centers, the school programs. Dolores is also a frontline worker providing counseling to distressed Cleveland women through her Brick House Wellness Program. She believes significant ARPA dollars should go toward workers most affected by the pandemic. It has hit the frontline workers harder, you know, as well as, you know, and I think that's with the nursing homes. Those, those people that work in nursing homes are frontline workers too. This is our money to be spent on us, and we can have a role in determining that. Zach Schiller, research director with Policy Matters Ohio, pointed to a series of agency reports which indicate the ARPA funds should be used to stabilize families, working people, and child care, as well as support Cleveland students who fell behind academically due to the pandemic. This money can be used to provide special programming, summer school, you name it, to try and help kids recover some of what they lost or to get back up to speed. The federal government gave us this money in order to address a crisis. City Council President Blaine Griffin says so far citizens are focusing their ARPA funding requests in three key areas. Demolition, dollars for home rehabilitation, and then also we get a lot of uh, social service requests. But Cleveland Council members also received a host of other citywide project requests. Youth support, jobs, uh, development, family services, social services, or it could either be catalytic projects uh, like, um, you know, closing the digital divide. Still, Dolores believes the biggest groups needing federal assistance are Cleveland's young people, the elderly, and the agencies that service them. You need to focus on the community as a whole, you know, making sure our seniors are okay, our youth are okay, you know, and our frontline workers, all of that. And again, Cleveland's funding plan must be ready to send to the federal government by the end of the year. Links to the Policy Matters Ohio reports are posted right now on News5Cleveland.com or you can use a News5 app. Joe, there's more here. We understand some of that final $225 million in federal funding coming next month. It's already accounted for. Rob, Council President Griffin says some of the money will have to be put towards more pandemic loss recovery in the city budget and public safety for police, EMS and fire. But Rob, it's still not clear how many millions will be needed in those areas. You know, we'll follow up on this developing story. Joe Paganakis reporting live in the newsroom tonight. Joe, thank you.